Hello again, St. Lucia, and welcome to the program, Agriculture on the Move, Agricole a Mouvement, as they would say a Creole. My name, Philip Sidney, your host. Two months ago or more, I'm sure you have heard and you have listened to the television station, you'd realize that we, are, we have an, ag an aggressive campaign on a banana disease that is not here yet, it's just looming. And I hope to God it does not reach St. Lucia's soil. Because if that happens, we have a saying, Balfini Villansac. But this program is for you, the fa banana farmers out there, and of course the public, to understand this disease, how it operates. And with me, is Mr. Clitus Alexander, who is a crop protection officer attached to the research division in the Department of Agriculture. Welcome to the program, Clitus. Thank you, Mr. Sidney, for having me. Good. Clitus, this uh, disease, which is a Fusarium wilt disease, is called uh, Tropical Risk 4, or TR4. Um, I was told um, somewhere in the 50s, 60s, we had Tropical Race 1 and 2. Give us a little background as far as the family of these diseases are concerned. Fusarium oxysporum cubens, known as TR4, is a soil-borne fungal disease. And it is a causative agent for Fusarium wilt in the Musa species. Musa species include macambo, bananas, plantain. As you said, the disease is not new. Um, in the 1950s, the disease was known as Panama disease. And at that time, the predominant banana variety for e export was the, the Gros Michel variety. But what happened was that the, 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 that variety was very susceptible to Fusarium. That was RIS-1. Um, it, it almost wiped out the, 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 the Gros Michel variety because if we drive around the place, we, you really see, you hardly see a, a, a Gros Michel plant. Mm -hmm. um, that disease had some serious impact on banana cultivation around the world. Now, that was RIS-1. Now, RIS-1 is affecting bananas. RIS-2 presently is affecting the macambo. RIS-3 does not affect banana species. And RIS-4 is now affecting banana species, especially the, 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 the Cavendish variety. That is the variety that we like. That is the variety that is most tra treated around the world. Mm -hmm. Now, the impact, as I said, the impact of the disease can be severe on, 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 on banana production. Uh, the, and in the 1960s, RIS, TR4, RIS4, was first discovered in Taiwan. Now, then that disease spread through Southeast Asia, China, Indonesia, and then to Africa. But we never thought that disease would reach the Latin America and the Caribbean region so, so quickly. Okay. And last year, the disease was discovered in, in, identified in Colombia. And as you know, in Colombia, Latin American countries, they have acreages of bananas. Now, the, 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 the once affected with the, 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 the the disease, probably the first move is to try and reduce the spread. And they went ahead and declared acres of bananas. But in St. Lucia, we don't have the acreage to, to do that. So they destroyed the uh, acreages to okay. prevent the spread of the disease. Okay. Take, for example, if you have uh, you your, your, your plantation and one plant is affected, you see an affected plant, mm -hmm. it means, well, 7.5 <coughs> meters in a circle, mm. you have to destroy all the plants in that area. Yeah, and then you have to, yes, and then you have to use probably a plastic, use 
a, a chemical called methyl bromide to disinfect and you're going to cover it. Okay. So as, as, as you can see, this, this disease, the best form of control for this disease is present is prevention. Okay. Now, tell us how does that disease operate in the physiological uh, part of the plant? Okay. Basically, the disease enters the plant through the root system. Now, when it enters the plant through the root, it affects the, the vascular bundles. Now, in the vascular bundles, you have the, the xylem vessels that transport water to the plant. Then you have the phloem vessels that take food mm -hmm. from, from the, the, where it is producing the leaves and then distribute the, the, the food to, to the plant. Signs and symptoms, there is what is called the yellowing syndrome. Now, with the yellowing syndrome, the, the symptoms will start from the older leaves and then move upward to the younger leaves. Now, the other symptom that is very important is that the plant may stay green and the plant is still affected. Now, with that disease, you will find collapsing of the leaves. The leaves will fall around the plant, forming a, a, a skirt-like structure. In terms of the pseudostem, the, the, the pseudostem, you will see splitting of the, of, the, of the pseudostem. Now, if you were to cut the pseudostem, you will see the, the damage, discoloration of the vascular tissues in the, in, in the plant. Okay. Now, okay, how does it really affect the, the vascular bundles in the sense that it starts from the roots, yeah. okay? And then the roots uptake the, 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 the fungus. Yes, the and, and then it multiplies so the roots. It, it, it multiplies it. But how does it really uh, get to the root system? Now, it may get through the root system because of the root may be damaged by other... Well, the, other, the, other, the big issue is this. You have, with TR4, you have tropical and subtropical species. Mm -hmm. Now, for the subtropical species, you need what is called a predisposing factor, something that will damage the root so that uh, the, 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 the organism will get, get through. But uh, with TR4, risk, TR4 the, the tropical risk, it does not need no break in the, break in the, in the, the, in the root tissues mm -hmm. so that the organism can get through. The organism can get into the root through the optic. It's oh yeah, own damage. Ah, on, on okay, the root okay. The and then, okay, how long um, will you see the effect of that disease as it manifests itself on, in the plant? Well, as the roots get affected, mm -hmm. it means, well, if you cannot get the water uptake, you, the food cannot be distributed in the plant, so the plant is going to wilt. All right. So you'll find, as I said, the leaves are going to collapse. The, the product, you will see loss of vigor, mm -hmm. chlorosis because the plant will not be able to take nutrients, mm -hmm. the plant will be starving for nutrients and so on. Okay. So, but, but then in terms of the time frame, how long will, will the plant take to die? In other words, by the time it becomes affected, how long does it take? It As I said, that will de depend on the inoculum pressure. Okay. Some plants may, may take a few days, while some may take, as I said, the, the plant may be affected, but the plant still looking green. Right. Some of the plant may go through fruiting, and that fruit you'll not be able to harvest because you'll have pre-ripening of the fruit and so on. So okay. that will vary. So, so in essence, it's going to affect production? Yes, definitely. And, definitely. And, and there's nothing that can be done to actually prevent the spread of it at this point. But however, we, we do for a break. Yeah. After the break, I want us to expand on it to say exactly what can be done to actually prevent that disease from getting into St. Lucia. Right. You're watching um, Agriculture on the Move. Stay tuned, we'll be back soon. Banana farmers, remember me? I destroyed the Gromichel banana variety some years ago. Now, my cousin, Tropical Race 4 or TR4, a fusarium wilt banana disease is on the horizon in a more aggressive form and can wipe out the banana industry in a flash. Be vigilant. Don't bring any banana plants or plant tissue into the island. Report any unusual symptoms on your banana plots to the Department of Agriculture at telephone 468-5600 or the extension officer in your area. Remember, protect our vital banana industry. 
Welcome back to the program, Agriculture on the Move. And of course, we are discussing a banana disease that is just looming. It's on the horizon. It's not here yet, but we need to be prepared for any time that it gets here. Uh, we're talking about uh, the Tropical Race 4, which is a Fusarium wilt disease in banana production. Um, Clickers, moving forward, now we, are, we know what um, to expect from uh, that disease. And uh, based on what you're seeing, it's very aggressive and it can wipe out the industry. Um, what is in place to really prevent that disease from coming into St. Lucia? What are the protocols? Um, there are very important pathways for, for, for this disease. The tourism industry, as you know, we depend a lot on tourism. Um, persons may, take for example, in Colombia, the disease is, is in Colombia. Persons may visit Colombia and come in the nation. Now, very important is the movement of soil. This should be prohibited. Movement of planting material, especially as you know, in the banana industry, we tend to import a lot of tissue culture plants. Mm -hmm. That we have to re revisit because you may, it may be transported through movement of, of the plants of plants and, and, and plant, and plant tissue. Mm -hmm. As I said, soil is very important. Those countries that we are treating with, the equipment, the equipment that they use in the country, we have to very, be very important. So in other words, if you, if you, if you uh, a contractor decide to import a tractor or use the tractor, all right, it has to be Disin well disinfected, yeah. fumigated before it gets to the loser. Most definitely, because you will not take the chance with the movement of soil, because if, with machinery you may have soil particles there, tools. Now, how, how long, how long does, does that stay in soil particles? Well, research is showing that this disease, it may stay dormant in soil for about 20 years. Wow. Because if you, when, when the disease is discovered in a country, it means well the disease has been there for, for a while. Mm -hmm. Because I said the spores may stay dormant for at least, at least 20 years. Okay. So we, 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 at the point of entry, it's very important now that we disinfect persons, especially the shoes. Um, presently, we're looking at putting a um, food bath mm -hmm. in, at the major port of entry. We're looking at, person, especially around the door, doors and so on, where persons unknowingly, mm -hmm. especially on the mats and so on, they, they will put the disinfectant. Unknowingly, you'll just walk on the mat and then your shoes may be disinfected. But the problem is that it's not perfect. While maybe, because on your shoelaces, you may have, sure. you may have soil particles on mm -hmm. your shoes, and especially on some of your pants and things. But can the spores stay on your clothing? Say, for example, you are in an infected field, yeah? And you walk through. Can the spores stay on your clothing? And how long can it stay on well, your clothing to be it's, active? It's, it's soil-borne. Oh, it is soil-borne. It's a soil-borne. So it's, it's a soil-borne so disease. It's not spread through spores. Okay. It can be spread Good. from farm to farm. Take, for example, if the soil, stuff, the, especially in, during the dry season, mm -hmm. what is called wind erosion. Mm -hmm. If the soil is dry and you're moving of, of soil particles via the wind, right. you can spread the, the disease like this. Oh, okay. And as you were saying, um, we have to biosanitary measures. We have to improve on this. If the disease get here, we have to, especially at the farm level, you have to disinfect your tool, you have to disinfect, for example, somebody is working for you and the person is working for the neighbor. After the person completes a job on your farm, the, and the, if the person decides to go and do a, a half day on the, on the, on the neighbor's farm, mm -hmm. the shoes, the tools, the clothing have to be disinfected mm -hmm. as a precautionary measure. Okay. What about um, resistant varieties? Have the over the years, have they developed any varieties that are resistant or tolerable to the disease? Well, presently, there are lots of researchers working on, on, on tolerant varieties. In Australia, they're doing what is called the genetic modification of the banana plant. But as you know, a lot of persons are worry about genetic mm -hmm. modifications, mm -hmm. because in genetic mm -hmm. modification, you may put a gene from a bacteria in a banana plant, and we, trade, we, we are involved in banana trade. Okay. Sometimes the, the market that we are targeting may not be interested in genetic modification. Okay. And also there is that particular variety from the Israelis, the Gal variety right. is tolerant. They claim it's, it's, it's tolerant to, to TR4. And mm -hmm. there are other varieties from Taiwan and some other countries that is claimed to be tolerant to 
TR4. Uh, but it's still at the research stage, and we see we, 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 around the world, scientists are monitoring what is going on with regards to tolerant variety. You, you mentioned Taiwan, and you know Taiwan, when it comes to agriculture, they are, they, they are up there. Um, how have they um, control, or in some way, what have they done with that, with that disease? Well, as I said, it was discovered in Taiwan, and Taiwan, they've done a lot of research in terms of tolerant varieties, because they have tolerant varieties okay. in, in, in Taiwan. But the, the, the problem with tolerant varieties, uh, tolerant varieties, they may not be marketable, as we saw with, yeah. with, with, with it may um, not be, it may, it may not be yeah, palatable. Because, yeah, yes. A lot of persons are not consuming those, mm -hmm. to, the tolerant varieties. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Now, right now, as we said, we started a vigorous campaign, right? We started with television, um, PSAs and whatever, and radio. Moving forward, in addition to that, what other medium can we use to sensitize the public as far as that disease is concerned? Well, we've been on radio, we've been on TV, but the, 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 as, an, as an extensionist, you know, sometimes we need to get feedback from the farmer. Right. We don't know how many persons watching those programs, but we need to go out there, do more outreach programs. We need to do farmers' meetings. Mm -hmm. Those, those, the, person, the traveling public, we need to sensitize them as to the, the, the movement of the, of the planting material, movement of soil, and, and so on. Because you know, Mr. Sidney, people will find a way when they bring in planting material, mm -hmm. they will not declare it, and so on. So we need to strengthen our quarantine at, at, at the ports. We need to do especially what is called disease surveillance. Because with disease surveillance, if the disease is, is here, we need to detect early so that we can take early action because if you early action will will sort of limit the spread of, of, of the disease because if we allow the disease to spread in, in your country you may find yourself in a when you say early action say for example uh, tomorrow um, somebody reports some symptoms and you said yes it's, it is TR4 what's the first thing you well, we, we, we first do? thing you should will do is though take samples okay. find a reference lab quickly for a diagnosis. Mm -hmm. If the diagnosis con con confirm that the disease is present, first of all, you'll have to prevent the movement of immediately planting material from, 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 from that area. You'll try to de destroy some of the, the, the infected plants. You'll try to disinfect the soil. And as I said, movement of, the, of, of any planting material. Movement of, you'll have to implement what is called biosanitary measures. Persons sh should not be allowed to, to, to visit the, the farm. The farm should be cordoned, fenced, so that people will not walk through the farm at will, mm -hmm. and so on. Okay. That's one of the measures that we can take immediately. But what's other 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 media? in terms of media publicity, apart from radio, television. Um, what's about billboards and other things like this? Sure, we need to go out there, put especially what is called academic posters, mm -hmm. posters that um, can convey information to people about about about, okay. t about TR4 because it's a, it's a very it's a very low, as you said it's looming it's, it's in our doorstep mm -hmm. we need to educate people on, on, on in school children all of us all stakeholders in the banana industry should be sensitized get on board, get, get on board. Get on board. Mm -hmm. great great okay we're taking another break we are due for a, a second break you're watching agriculture on the move stay tuned don't go away What's in the food you're eating? Do you really even know? All the chemicals and hormones used to accelerate their growth. All the artificial flavoring, sweeteners and colors too. We consume and we don't spare a thought for the damage that they'll do. The that no, they do. think about the children. Think about the children. How will we save them? Chemicals and GMOs are not the solution. Use organic and join. Excessive agrochemical use, additives, and genetically modified foods are harmful to health and the environment. Join the good food revolution. Grow, buy, and consume organic. A message from Rice St. Lucia and the Ministry of Sustainable Development with funding from the GEF Small Grants Program, UNDP. The good food revolution. Welcome back to the program, Agriculture on the Move. Um, Okay, 
Et puis l'autre monde dans cette liste, le peuple de cette liste, savent concerné vermine ça qui qui il pour corriger cette liste et moi je dis oh bon dieu nous pas joindre vermine ça tu es cette liste parce que si ça vient cette liste va le finir vous comprenez parce et donc ce figue là est important pour cette liste et puis peuple cette liste nous ne pour faire ça nous paix pour tienne des ça avec vermine ça dans cette liste pour comme dit monsieur euh, euh, Alexander dit nous pour Pepe qui a coûté en cruel langage nous dit nous vitement concernant vermine ça côté il commencé et côté actuellement well comme nous dit des ça pas neuf en en caribéen pièce research qui a monté risk 1 et risk 2 ça distribuer on la terre pièce des ça en 1950s là il a créé ça panama disease et des ça Tiens ça, nous avons fait un chat avec Gomichel. Nous avons fait un chat avec Gomichel. Gomichel, c'est un chat avec Gomichel. Et Gomichel, c'est un chat avec Gomichel. Ça fait que ça. Ou pas quand même avec Gomichel encore. Parce que ça affecte Gomichel tellement mauvais. Nous pas quand même avec Gomichel encore. Nous avons ça, c'est un chat pour Haïti. Nous avons découvert en Taïwan en 1960s. Nous avons dit ça, c'est un chat tellement fat. From Taïwan, il spread un whole. Il spread Asia. Ça nous a fait un chat avec Gomichel. Nous avons fait un chat Indonesia, et bien des ça a spread à l'Afrique. Et pour un petit acte pour aller à l'Afrique, mais ça nous a fait, nous pas de quoi des ça a fait aller nous en Caribbean, en région Caribbean, en Latin America, autant pour nous, autant bon est. Et l'année passée, des ça a trouvé quoi, trouvé quoi, Colombia. Et en Colombie, un chai bar a été fait. Les gens découvrent des ça, un chai acte en figure, des mots juste, donc dans couper tout. Coupe tout. Parce que vous parlez de disease d'aspect, vous voulez le contrôler. Et bien, vous servez en chimique. Et nous savons que chimique, ça, vous servez à. Nous savons que chimique, là, vous servez à ça, chimique qui bande, mais pas de nipper straight. C'est quoi que chimique, vous avez mis le bromide. Vous servez en l'intérieur, vous couvrez l'intérieur. Et quand vous pouvez quitter l'intérieur, vous avez mis l'année avant de planter. En rien, en dedans. Et ça, vous avez mis le crop protection. Bon, c'est ici, nous parlons de qualité pour nous faire qualité, qualité, bagaille, ça. C'est ça qui est très important d'être nous. Nous ne pouvons pas quitter l'intérieur, ça, nous. Et ça, nous pouvons faire encore, nous ne pouvons pas oui. Nous ne pouvons pas oui. Nous ne pouvons pas oui. Parce que quand nous savons, nous ne pouvons pas dire que nous allons essayer de faire un travail pour ne Mais si il vient, nous ne pouvons pas préparer pour ça. Nous ne pouvons pas mettre ça en place. Nous allons faire un travail, nous allons faire un task force pour que nous allons travailler ça pour nous travailler pour empêcher les disease de venir. Originally, nous allons faire un travail d'emergency action plan. L'emergency action plan, c'est l'organisation de l'Orissa, la FAO, ils sont tous involvés dans l'action plan. Nous avons un action plan, mais nous avons un point de ces sections nous font, nous avons implémenté en cette liste et fait ça. Mais nous avons fait un spécifique pour le pays. Nous avons fait un risque analysis. Nous avons fait un analysis pour regarder les pays qui sont venus, qui sont Nous savons qui sont les risques, c'est nous avons un risque en paix d'industrie. Et comme ça, nous avons fait un effet. Fixer un bon en patron de ça, nous avons fait des choses. Nous avons fait des choses, nous avons fait des choses, nous avons fait des choses comme ça. Et par la bonne tirée, c'est ça. Les premiers risques, comme dans les 50 ans, les risques sont affectés. 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 Nous avons planté à présent. Nous avons tout de la continuer. Mais les tirées, ils sont affectés. Tout le monde. Tout le monde est affecté. C'est ça qui est important. C'est important de nous préparer avant. Gardez pour nous faire research en la sévérité à nos fils qui sont tolérés là, try mettre en un place simple ici. So si ils viennent à l'aide nous, nous ça point sévérité ça multiplier, tisser culture quickly et bas faire aller. Donc qui manière dit ce peuple simple ici, qui manière veut venir ça qu'à travailler en fait là? En fait là veut venir qu'à travailler comme ça. Bon l'année about twenty risk, forty risk disease là. Je dis l'année ça y va que subtropical risk et de là que tropical risk. Bon Malman, nous avons ça qui est plus mauvais. Ça qui est plus mauvais, nous avons affecté. Nous sommes tropical countries. Avec le risque, nous n'avons pas besoin de rien. Parce que avec l'autre risque, nous n'avons pas besoin de rien. 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 Mais ça, il a fait dommage. Il a fait dommage. Il a fait dommage. Il a fait dommage. Premièrement, il a fait dommage. 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 Si bah c'est si tissu ça qui a porté glomouté à et qui a porté ça les les manger a fait dans en fait là ça qui a porté des sangs là il a en soi affecté bon sous pas ça rien manger pour manger ou pas ça rien glomouté faible comment tout le monde aurait faible ou quand il mort 
si vous laissez faire, si vous faites là, vous commencez à casser, vous allez tomber au lion plan. Même quand on jeep en madame, mm -hmm. si vous avez un bel jeep qui a fait au lion là. Non, l'autre bail là, c'est ça. Plan est affecté, mais vous ne pouvez pas avoir une pièce dans le plan affecté. Le plan GT fait une figue là, vous ne pouvez pas avoir une pas bon pour, pour, pour ça. Pour ça, il y a ça qui est plus de plus de rap, il y a un peu 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 de pas pour un pièce, il peut faire là, parce que quand il y a des gens qui ont un chapeau, 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 qui ont un Si vous avez un chapeau, qui ont 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 un ou quand avec bout pas prendre bout ça c'est oui en dedans bagou en mandé là ouvre monde pas oui bout sous bien là bou bagaille comme ça nous pas veut ça sous quand avec l'autre pays bout sous coûte là ou quitter l'autre pays là vous êtes ici nous quand advise à toi acheter un coûte là et qu'on fait ou fait bagaille comme là on vend les pour ça nous quand tu as fait ça mettez ça nous quand qui en foot baf spécialement là c'est c'est soupir qu'on va passer là on va manger mais c'est disinfectant dans les en disinfectant qui ça en chaque pays qui a servi c'est quoi qui contenir ammonium ça, ça même pas, il y a service en COVID-19, il y a des choses. Si nous avons mis ça à terre, alors passé, sous l'eau, nous avons marché à ce qui est disinfecté. Disinfecté sous l'eau. Alors, quand nous avons dit, pas. 100%. 100%, parce qu'on a laissé sous l'eau, on a tiré 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 si il vient là où on va préparer plan ça, ce qu'on va juste activer plan ça. Alors parce qu'il est important de nous quitter, baliser. Et c'est ces mêmes familles. Well, research pas camouché, il a fait baliser. Mais là, ni research camouché, on est wild weed species, zeb, dans zeb. Il a été en dedans zeb là, parce que quand nous quand nous avons un cyber zeb, c'est un bail qui disease qui a été en dedans. Donc là, ni d'être wild species en zeb, il a été en dedans. Tickles, thank you for, for that um, in, the, in the Creole. But as you're about to end, you have any final words to tell St. Lucian again what they should look out for and what they should not do? Quickly. Quick. Well, we should be vigilant. The banana industry belongs to all of us. Bananas, as I said, it's a very important part of our food security. Now, government, we don't, as we know, we, our food import bill is in excess of $400 million. The country cannot afford in the importation of bananas. Mm -hmm. That is what is going to happen to us if we are not careful. Mm -hmm. If we cannot prevent this disease from coming into the country, if we cannot put all the mitigative actions in place presently, that is what is going to happen to us. We're going to have to imp import bananas, plantain, macambo, very important mm -hmm. crops for our food security. Okay. We, we, we may have to, to, to import this. Just thank you very much for being here, and of course our food and blood bill has not reached 400, 400 million, uh, million. Closely, but it's, it's, close. it's 374 but last year. It's close. Well, it's it's close. close. <laughs> but our food security, we need to protect that. Yes, I, have I'm, to I'm, I'm an agreement. So thank you again yeah. for being here. Right? We have been watching agriculture on the move. Banana farmers, be serious on that. That's a serious, serious threat to our vital industry. So please, if you see any symptoms that you're not accustomed to, please call the ministry or ensure you contact your extension officer in your immediate area. Remember, agriculture is our business. And eat fresh. St. So Lucia's best. The money stays here. Thank you for viewing. I'm Philip Sidney. Goodbye. Agriculture on the move. 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 Agriculture on the move.